Hey guys, today on the Clutter Basement you get to see what happens when I get bored. Hey guys, welcome back. We've been under quarantine for some time now and I am getting bored. And I am looking for something to do. Any ideas? I mean, I got all this stuff in this basement. Hopefully there's something to do here. Alright guys, all I have found is some old speaker wire and a car horn. Don't know what I can do with that, but I gotta go mow the yard. So let's go do that. Hey guys, I just had the coolest idea. What if I put a car horn on my mower? Wouldn't that be sweet? The things you think about when you're mowing the yard, it's crazy. A car horn on my mower. All right guys, here we go. I got everything we need. I got Old Faithful. I got all my tools ready, or at least all the ones I think I'm gonna need I got the horn I don't know if it's gonna work or not but it's gonna be awesome if it does I can't wait We're about uh, 10 minutes into this project. Got a good sweat going. It's getting warm in here. Um, made the mistake of seeing the convenience of it being mounted on the side on the top, but I forgot to look back here at those moving cables. Can you see them? Those cables move back and forth and it gets hung up on that. So I had to move it down here. It's a little bit harder to get to when you're on the mower because you have to reach clear down there, but I think it'll be better in the long run because, well, nothing can get in the way now. So, I'm good with one hole. That's why I use this old mower, Old Faithful. That's why I'm using Old Faithful, so we can make a few mistakes. Okay, so when I was putting the horn on, without the bracket, the hood would not close, so it would always be open, never shut all the way. So I found that bracket, it's kind of like an extension, and then the horn will just sit right there like that. 
and it'd be just enough that's just enough for the hood to close and that everything's protected under the under the hood in case it rains or in case I wash the mower you know that'll never happen Old Faithful doesn't need a bath he's too good for that all right now might be a good time to check to make sure the horn even works so let's try that here we go all right that sounds pretty good I'm getting more and more excited about this project as we go along now that everything's tested and ready to go all we have to do is install it and wire it up There, it's all finished. Got the wire spliced together. Wire ran to the switch, or the I should say the button back there, and then to the battery. It's a pretty simple design. Ah, still sore about that, but I love the horn. <laughs> it's so loud. It's so obnoxious. It's so awesome. <laughs> What's next? Alright guys, that's about all the time we have today as far as reviewing a horn on your lawnmower. I think it's a really cool idea. I think every lawnmower should have one, but hey, I'm mostly redneck, so we think a lot of things are cool. <laughs> uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for my next video. Who knows what it could be? See you next time. Right. Time for a nap. I'll see you guys next time on the cluttered basement. Bye-bye.